Okay, there's a couple of things here I wanted to show to some folks that I had a lot of questions about. Uh, and I had to search through a bunch of videos to try to find them. And usually they were 30 minute, 40 minute, hour and a half videos to finally get to the two, three, five minute segment that I needed just to fix one thing. Um, one of them was finding top dead center on on my car and making sure I was at top dead center where I was actually in the the power stroke and not the exhaust. So the real easy way I found it um, uh, on a video uh, from somebody else was these top two um, rockers. I uh, just redid this entire engine all the way from the bottom up and cleaned these and I just put these on here and I've already uh, you know measured these to 0 0.010 on each one of these rockers but afterwards I uh, put the distributor on to you know well, prior to that, I put the distributor on, make sure I was at top dead center, and then I went through each one of them and did it. Um, so the way I, I did that was I took, as you can tell, I'm at top dead center right now. These wiggle just a little bit. And if you look right here, I've got my mark, and I'm at top dead center right here. So you'll know you're at top dead center uh, at the power stroke is if you move. Let me see if I can do this and hold the camera. If you move the crank shaft in in any direction, you know, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, these two rocker arms will not move. They'll stay right there. Now, if you were counterclockwise back, one that way, uh, it's still going to look like you're on top dead center, but you're actually on the... Uh, compression uh, I mean on the exhaust top so that's the good way to test it is to move this crankshaft you know 10 15 degrees if neither one of these move at all backwards or forwards you're top dead center the other thing I wanted to show was this distributor if you pull it you're gonna see the distributor gear down at the bottom. I'm going to pull all this off here. I didn't have it tightened down. Okay. Now, if you look at its position to see where it's at, um, you know, just above the nine degree and just below three, uh, nine, nine o'clock and just below three o'clock. And if you'll also notice, the top half of this circle is smaller than the bottom half. All right, so this is the small half of the circle. It has to be on top when you're on top dead center. It has to be. Uh, I had the mistake of having that completely turned around. I searched the internet trying to figure out why when I did my timing, and I checked my timing light, uh, my timing light was showing I was 180 degrees off. That white line was at the bottom. And I didn't know how to get that white line <laughs> back to the top. So. The way I did that was I searched and searched and searched, read the manuals, did some, all the suggestions online, and finally I just came out here and pulled this gear after looking at a couple of pictures and I started playing with it. And then when I finally got it into a, a, the position it needed to be, as I'm at top dead center at the same time, then I put my distributor back on, made sure uh, and set my timing, and I was exactly at the top which was awesome and then I set it at 10 degrees before top dead center and the car was running beautiful so I just wanted to show that to people um, I know it gets confusing and hopefully that helped